Today we're gonna to be making some chicken Alfredo with some broccoli. And we're gonna use just regular store-bought autumns and we're gonna dress them up. So, let's get started. Let me show you what we're gonna use. Okay, so of course you're gonna need some chicken and I'm gonna be using about three medium-sized chicken breasts. And then I like to use these um, penny noodles a couple of jars of Alfredo, whatever brand you want. I just happen to have this one. We're gonna have some broccoli and we're gonna dress up our uh, Alfredo with some cream cheese, some whipping cream, and some spices. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start chick uh, our chicken. And I'm gonna get a skillet hot. And with probably just a little bit of olive oil, I'd say about two tablespoons, not a lot. And we're gonna brown our chicken. And we're just gonna use, to brown our chicken, we're probably just gonna use salt, pepper, and some garlic. So I like to season my meat directly. Um, so I'm gonna put some garlic and some salt and pepper on there. And I'm gonna use fresh garlic. Um, or just the canned garlic out of the produce section. Let me get a spoon. This is one of those easy meals that you can just throw together really fast if you're in a hurry. And we are in a hurry because Kennedy is down here from Alabama. I'm gonna use about a heaping tablespoon, I would say. And then we're gonna use some more of that in the sauce when we do the sauce. I believe our oil is hot. So we're gonna go ahead and stick our dill in there. But she came down yesterday and the, her and her mom are working on the house today. And I could not help today because I needed to work on taxes and grocery shopping and all that. I'll be there tomorrow. So we're gonna brown our chicken until it's done, pretty much done, okay? We want our, we, we are gonna bake this when it's all together, but we want our chicken to be pretty much done. We're gonna go ahead and turn our water on, and I'm gonna cook the whole box. Of noodles. And I know some people do not like to put their noodles in until their water is boiling. I probably, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today, I'm just gonna stick it in there right now. Uh, because it doesn't matter if it's, it's not gonna get like starchy, mushy. If you're cooking like a, um, something that's not gonna be like in a big sauce or baked in a sauce, you may wanna wait till your water's boiling. Okay, our chicken is done. And I like my chicken pretty brown, so you can see that it's on it's brown. So we're gonna get our chicken out, but leave our drippings in this skillet. That's what's gonna make this sauce taste more homemade. And our noodles are boiling. So we're just gonna put this chicken in this casserole dish and then get started on this uh, sauce and this first thing we're going to do is pour our sauce in mm. like i said it doesn't matter which which brand i try to stay away from the walmart brand just because i don't think the quality is as good but some kind of uh Name brand will be good. Mm. Sometimes these are hard to open. Okay, so we're gonna stick our sauce in there and we're gonna stick half of a package of um, cream cheese, okay? So, now I did get the Walmart brand on my cream cheese. It's just, just the Walmart brand. So we're gonna put, um, we're gonna put four ounces in here and I cubed it up. 
so it can melt better. And you want to cook this kind of slow. So on a low medium, I would say. Okay, and then we're going to put a, about a tablespoon of garlic in here. You do not have to use as much garlic as we do. We just happen to like garlic, but we use a lot. And then we're going to put half of a cup of heavy whipping cream. You're making homemade, you don't use whipping cream. This just makes it richer. But I'm just going to go with half a cup because we don't want it to get runny. Okay. And then you can also add some pepper if you want. It's probably got enough salt. Um, so I'm not going to add any salt. You want to put some pepper in there and if you have some parmesan cheese some grated parmesan cheese that would be very good in it i thought i had some and i do not so we're not going to have no parmesan cheese in it tonight where'd my spoon go ah there it is okay and we're just going to let this kind of simmer and melt that cream cheese up in there go to the next step. I believe my noodles are probably done. Let's check them and see. Yeah, so I'm going to turn my noodles off and I'm going to rinse my noodles. Remember we talked about starch earlier? So I always like to rinse my noodles, not spaghetti, but other noodles I like to rinse. So I'm going to rinse that and we'll get that in the casserole dish. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's pour our noodles in this casserole dish also. They drained good. And then we're going to do our broccoli. Now, I'm just using the frozen. Make sure you get the florets because if you get the pieces, you get a bunch of steam. And you don't want that. And uh, I just usually put this in. I don't like my broccoli all the way done. I usually put it in for about a minute and a half. And then we'll check it. And if it needs a little bit more, I will, well, this went for two, but um, then I'll cook it for a little bit longer. Okay, our sauce is looking really well. I believe the cream cheese is almost uh, melted. So when that gets good and melted, we'll pour that in the casserole dish as well. Now you wanna stir it every once in a while because it is a sauce and you don't want it to stick. I'm using a non-stick sk skillet just because of that reason. I would not want to use my cast iron for this. Some people would, but not me. Okay, I think that's probably good enough. And I'm gonna pour my sauce now in here. And you can taste it and see if it needs anything. I've made this enough that I know my Recipe is right on target. Okay. This is one of our favorite, really fast recipes. When that broccoli gets done, we're gonna stir it in and then we're going to bake it for about 20 minutes. And then that last five or so minutes, we'll pull it out and I'm going to put uh, some cheese on top. Easy, easy. It's really delicious. Stir it really, really good. That way that sauce gets in those holes of those noodles. We like a lot of sauce. I do not like anything dry. So that's looking really good. This broccoli is almost done. And it'll be ready for the oven. No, it's not. It's still cold. So I'm going to put it on for about another minute and a half, and I'll be right back. We're going to add our broccoli. It's good and popping hot. If you don't like broccoli, just leave it out. And if you don't like large broccoli, you can chop it. 
we're good with it like this. Okay, so we're gonna stir this up really good. Stick it in the 350 oven for about 20 minutes. And uh, if it looks like it's getting a little bit dry, if you used, um, cause I used a bigger um, can of, you know, sauce. Add you a little bit of milk, but you don't want to water it down too much. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna add just a little bit of whipping cream just because I think it's a little drier than I want it to be. And just a smidgen. And stir it in there. I probably added about a fourth a cup, okay? And you can just kind of do it the way you want, just as whether you want it to be uh, juicier or what, but I was just, I just know we do not like anything dry. So we like everything pretty juicy. Actually, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. And uh, stir it around. And then I'm gonna add my cheese on top and put it back in the oven. And by the time that gets good and melted because this did um, cool it down just a little bit. Now I'm gonna use um, uh, whole eight ounces. You don't have to use that much if you don't want to, but we like cheese. So I'm gonna use the whole eight ounces, cover it with cheese, put it back in the oven for probably about five minutes. It's not gonna take long to melt this cheese. And uh, it'll be ready to make now i'm gonna make some bread um garlic bread with ours and it's just a one pot meal with some garlic bread you can have a salad with it and uh, then i gotta deliver it <laughs> to the kids all right back in the oven okay and this is the chicken broccoli chicken alfredo it's ready Okay, we're gonna get Caleb some. He wants to, he can't wait. He don't want to wait on Bubba and his future sister-in-law. Okay, cheesy, good, not dry, Alfredo. Is that enough, Caleb? When you have to go like this to get all the cheese, you know it's good. There you go, Bubba. And there's my plate with my garlic bread. If you liked our recipe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.